Alright, let's make this quick. So we're going to start with lower latency in video and other games. Uh, go to exitlag.com, download exitlag. Some of you might have used this already. If you already have a VPN, just skip this section. Uh, once you've installed exitlag, you'll sign up, make an account. It'll be a paid service. Install it, open it. It's going to look like this. You're going to sign into your account. Uh, on the left, search the game you want. In this case, Black Desert. Uh, we're going to click that. We're going to see list of servers in here. Um, it'll give you an expected latency here. This is not your latency to BDO, this is your latency to the exit lag server that you've selected. So in this case, San Jose 4. Uh, what you do to figure out your BDO ping would be the distance between San Jose and the BDO server. So you'll connect to this one, this will connect to BDO. Uh, once you've set this up, selected your server, you can change this at any time, as long as the game's not running. Uh, go to Tools, start automatically with Windows, so it starts up every time you boot your computer. Um, it'll look like this normally, and when you start the game, you'll see a connection appear here, it'll show you the latency to the server. Uh, we'll show you that after. Alright, for the next part, this one's actually for your ping and a stable connection. This works for everything on your whole PC. Uh, we're going to go to speedguide.net or you can just Google TCP optimizer like that and go to the first link. Uh, once you're here, download it from the top version here, TCP optimizer 4. Uh, you don't have to install this, you just run it. It's going to give you a file like this. When you run it, make sure you right click, run as admin. Once it's open, click yes. Once it's open, just copy these settings here. I'm not going to go through each thing, what they do. I'll leave this on screen for five more seconds. Pause it, copy these settings. After you're done with that, go to the advanced settings. Pause it, copy these settings. Once that's done, click apply changes down here. You're going to get this prompt. Click OK. Once it applies, it's going to tell you, do you want to do a reboot? It doesn't take effect until you do, so just reboot your computer. All right, now that we've done both of those things, this is how you can tell if Exalag is working. So you see here, there's no connection. I started the game. When I click on start, it's going to connect through to the server and you'll get one connection. So you've got this connection here. This is not the connection it's going to stay on once you actually go into the game by selecting a real server. So let's go Balanos or something. And just select the character. You'll see that this is going to change. All right, now that you've got the actual connections going here, Exalag's running, it says Black Desert Online, that's working. Enjoy.